Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, how to learn that how to draw a 3D model in AutoCAD. So I have selected this drawing. We'll prepare a 3D model of this drawing. So let's read the drawing first. The total length of the object is 150. The height of the object is 52 here. For base, the height is 22. The dia of the cylinder is 72. Inner diameter is 48. Here you can see depth of the hole is 24. So it means remaining part is solid. So out of 52 height, 24 is hollow and remaining 28 mm will be solid. If you will see the width of the base that is 48 and inner slot is 18 means this remaining part is 15, 15 both the sides. 15 plus 18 plus 15 total is 48. The length of this hollow part is 30 and this remaining height is 30. So 30 plus 22 that is 52 that is understood. So let's prepare the top view of this object first. Once we'll prepare the top view then we'll just uh, create the height of the object and will be converted in 3D. So it's your call, you have to decide which section you have to prepare first whenever you are preparing any drawing. So here we will prepare the top view of the object. So all the dimensions are clear, this is 15, 30, 18, 30, 15 and total length is 150. So let's start to draw this. Before that, that uh, let's turn on few settings here. Grid mode, polar tracking, Object snap tracking, object snap. Yes, all the options of object snap is turned on. Let's draw the top view first. We have selected the line. First draw a line of 15, enter. This side 30, enter. Vertically 18, enter. This one is 30, enter. This is 15, enter. This is 150, enter. You can use the mirror command also if you want. 15, this is 30, this is 18, enter. This is 30, enter. 15, enter. And this is the end point. See if you have any doubt in basic settings like line is not showing, midpoint is not showing, endpoint is not showing, references are not showing, dynamic input is not there. Please refer to the first three basic videos. The link is available in description box. Now we have selected center and diameter circle. Let's find out the midpoint of this line. Yes, this is the midpoint. Don't click here. Just take the reference. From here also. Take a reference without click. Don't click here. Now here you can click. So let's draw the circle with diameter 72. Enter. We'll draw one more circle. Here center is not showing. Just touch this circle. You will get the center. So this dia is 48. Enter. Right. Now go to trim option. If this trim option is not there or this uh, these uh, like options are not there, these tools are not available, you can also type it. Now this is the top view of the object. We have total three number of sections. This is section one, this is section two and this is section three. This central section is also there which is having height 28. So let's see this drawing once more. We have created its top view. Now we have to create its height. And we want to see front, top and left side view of this object in 3D. Front, top and left side. Height is 22. Here the height is 52. And middle height, height of this the inner cylinder is 28. How it is 28? Because total height is 52 
24 is hollow so remaining part is 28 so here you have to go first it is showing top so we want to see top front as well as left side so here one small square is there this is very important if you want to see top front and right then you have to click here if you want to see top front and left then you have to click here now you can see top front and left view is there so let's go to the next option next you have to go here workspace switching open this go to 3d basics so now we will convert this top view this 2d drawing in 3d so here first you have to check whether it is 2d wireframe or realistic maybe in your screen it will be 2d wireframe so you just select the realistic you have to go for realistic right after selecting realistic you have to select this command press pull select press pull command if command is not available there just you can type it you can also type it where to type it simply you have to type this the cursor itself acts as a command box i will type here press pull yes you can go, you got this you got this press pull enter to type the command there is no one to click anywhere cursor itself acts as the command box now go to this uh, center section you can see the circle is getting highlighted click here just click here and move your cursor upside so how much height you want here 28 enter now go to this section you can see this is getting highlighted click here after clicking go to upside you can see it is showing 58.33 53 55 59 simply you can replace this by 52 enter now go to this next section click here move your cursor upside how much height you want here yes 22 type 22 enter now here also 22 enter now we have created this 3d model right so you can convert this object into a colorful object first you can see its front view this is the front here if you want to see top view, you can click here this is top view you can come back front view top view if you want to see left side view you can see here left side view you can come back here top this is isometric view so let's change the color go to again this option 3d uh, sorry drafting and annotation let's suppose i want to change the color of this part it is a little bit lagging see this part so here you can change the color by layer let's suppose this color yellow here one more thing is there let's suppose you want to visualize front top and side and you want to change the color of the surfaces so that thing you can also do like here if i'm selecting the uh, component this whole component is getting selected right so here one very important command is there that is explode command you can type explode explode is there press enter select this object this object this object we have selected the object press enter now you can see this surface is getting selected separately so now you can change its color let's change first this color this one so 
so that we can visualize this, uh, visualize its front top and side so we'll keep this color as the same middle color will change let's say this is purple in front face we can change the color So now let's visualize its front view. Like students are facing the problem to visualize the front top and side that how a cylinder can be a rectangle in front view. Like so now you can click on the front here. So now you can see this is front view. Right? You can see this arrowhead. Now you now we'll see its top view. So you can see this is top view of the object. We'll come back here at front. Now if you want to see left side view, you can see left, you can see this left side view. You can come back from here, you can also see right side view. Here also if you want you can change the color. Top. After top plane, you can go here to see isometric view. One more thing is there, here line is showing at the base. This line. You can either delete this. See what's the problem here in press pull command there is one property ki when you are converting it into 3d it keeps the source object let's move this object first you can move these all the planes press enter As you can see the source object will be here so that's why that line is showing because in press pull control z you can press control z so that line will remains there let's try to delete this no it is not getting deleted yes here it is getting deleted so that is optional for you either you can move the object and then you can delete this so this is the 3d model in case you have any doubt or any question please post your comments if you are facing any problem in basic settings please post your comments i will reply you and subscribe to the channel please thank you so much